Pokemon meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokey fans. Now watch the mission in the next episode as bit of pie. There was water in that, and now my leg is wet. <laughs> Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pit of Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you my series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash JTV, and since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon Meme Review. We'll start by sorting by top in the past month and then move on to the curated slideshow. Why not use pure flying types? We got bird, bird, man, and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, I I felt for a long time, long before Rookie D and Corvusquar became a thing, that I, it was strange that there was no pure flying types other than Thunderous. I feel like all of the early game birds being normal flying was just kind of weird. Like, I get that they were regular animals, but like, the regular animals that fly. Team Sky deserves more pure flying types. Every Pokemon is someone's favorite. These MFs <laughs> allow us to introduce ourselves. Yeah, no, not popular. Cryogonal has a really cool shiny. That should be pointed out. But yeah, I made a video on this topic, gosh, like six years ago now. That was like Pokemon that no one likes. <laughs> Where I was like, these are Pokemon that I don't think are anyone's favorite Pokemon. But in reality, I think there's at least one person whose favorite Pokemon is every Pokemon. Well, maybe not the Gen 9 ones yet. Maybe some of those need more time to, to cook. I wonder why Game Freak removed this feature. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. If you have a Pincurchin, would you be willing to trade it for my Haunter? <laughs> oh, flashbacks? <laughs> Hey, that lady was actually nice. That was how I got Gengar in the Pokedex, was doing that in-game trade, because she is not Mindy. Or... Fan theory, hold on, let me cook. That is Mindy, who has grown into an adult and learned from the errors of her ways. After a long stint in prison, you found an Absol in Pokemon Go? Realization? Oh, because Absol appears before disaster? And then your game just crashes. Iron Dive, that's cool. Love the propellers in the, in the wings. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch. The watermark says this is by Cardinal. So like the bird, but removing a few letters. Iron Zen, fire and ice. That's pretty cool. I like that it's just the Zen form, but it's just all the time. Iron Justice. <laughs> He's got little booties. Iron Fright. That's pretty cool. Iron Blade. That is very cool. I would love to see Hone Edge is just like, it's the final form. Feral Fist. Oh, Hertz Burst. Either this is multiple people or they changed their username. Iron Glider. Love that. <laughs> okay, that's super clever. That's a fantastic way to do a Paradox Ice Q. Oh, I love that. That is easily my favorite one. Oh my gosh. And that render is so awesome. Iron Clone. Psychic Dark. Ooh, evil little Mew. Those are really good. I'm expanding the sea, small brain. I'm expanding the land, ooh. I'm expanding the sky. I'm expanding my brand! Ha <laughs> ha, Grunty boy! Ha <laughs> ha, it is I, Grunty boy! And uh, hey, <laughs> remember how I asked to borrow your phone cause I broke mine? Oh no. Yeah, I uh, may or may not have dropped it on one of the hideout spinning arrow tiles, which then sent it flying into the wall and blasted it to bits. Which, oddly enough, is exactly how I broke mine. <sighs> you know, if this had happened just a little while ago, I would be furious. However, the sponsor of this video, Red Magic, recently sent me their new Red Magic 8S Pro smartphone. Whoa, that's the coolest looking phone I've ever seen. Oh, this thing does so much more than look cool. The Red Magic 8S Pro is designed for gaming. Its screen is big and gorgeous and wastes no space. It also has a switch on the side to activate its gaming mode, which allows its incredible processing power to focus on making your games run smoother and faster. And I can say from experience, everything runs super smooth. That sounds amazing, but wouldn't it get really hot? I had to stop playing Pokemon Go on a hot day because my phone was overheating. I mean, so was I wearing all this black, but you know, I could have kept going. The phone could not. So it actually has a built-in fan you can see right here. It's part of a complex and effective cooling system. And you can't say that about other phones. It also has shoulder triggers you can program to tap on-screen buttons, allowing for more comfortable options. Wow, I am impressed. I need to get one of my own so I can stop on people in Pokemon Unite. Can I borrow yours? 
yours. Absolutely not. Harsh but fair. What you can do is get your own Red Magic 8S Pro by clicking the link in the description below. All right, fine. And I won't get it near any of those arrow tiles. Why do we even still have those? Ta-ta! The four horsemen of Pokemon that should evolve into one Pokemon, but don't. I only agree with half of this. Actually, I only agree with a quarter. Love Disk into a Lomomola, that makes perfect sense. Tauros into Bufalon, not quite. They're very similar Pokemon, but Bufalon, like he's not stronger than Tauros. Like he doesn't look like an evolved Tauros. He just looks like a regional form of Tauros. Vivas into Relicanth, I completely disagree. And Volbeat and Illumise are equals. You know, like they, neither one looks bigger than the other. If I had the coin for every time the introduction of parrots in a game led to real life problems, forcing the developers to remove a core feature, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. I know about chatter, I don't know about the Minecraft parrots. As some of you may recall, I only played Minecraft for the first time ever in late 2020. Why Dragapult can't be in Team Sky? Child labor! <gasps> Unacceptable! Some nine-year-old Vaporeon's my favorite Pokemon on the entire subreddit. Y'all, I gotta be real, I'm getting so tired of the Vaporeon jokes. It's been like, it's been like a year. They're they're not even like, it's not even a problem just on my subreddit. It's, it's all over the place. Everywhere that Pokemon content is posted, that keeps showing up and it's just not funny. What's that? We're from the future! Whoa! No way, this is so cool! Huh? Wait. Why did Swablu turn into unknown X? Does that just mean it's extinct? Oh, it's a Twitter slash X meme. Okay, it's, it's a, it's, I get it now. All right, thank you to that person who explained it to me. You can tell how effective the X rebrand is going because I immediately got the joke. What would you do? Die. Pokemon fans, Digimon evolutions don't make sense. Also Pokemon fans, okay. Tynamo makes sense. The other ones are certainly stranger, yes, but Pokemon doesn't have a cute little hamster with bat wings for ears turn into a man wearing clothes and everything. Mom, can we have Meowth? No, there's Meowth at home. Meowth at home. Remember when everybody thought Yokai Watch would replace Pokemon? And by everybody, I mean a small but vocal minority. Nothing's replacing Pokemon, y'all. At least not this century. Are you trying to figure out what Game Freak is going to name X and Y remakes? It's just like D parentheses X and D parentheses Y, like derivative. <laughs> you finally find a shiny Pokemon. It's a Pokemon you love. You catch it as an awful nature. Just give it a mint. It's 2023. We have mints now. Most supermodels, a random girl working as a cashier. <laughs> just like, she's the most beautiful girl you've ever seen. Cause uh, she's compared to Larry, of course. The four horsemen of why are you dragon type? For Galgi, I, will accept. Like, Sea Dragon, like, I mean, Kingdra, it, it's kind of like the same vibe there. Turtonator is primarily a turtle. Applin, we discussed this in a previous episode. It's a Wyrm, W-Y-R-M. And I, uh, I still don't know Exeggutor. I hate the internet's depiction of Hypno with a burning passion. I hate the internet's depiction of me with its pre-evolution, but anyways, let's read. Learn the difference. For Hypno, there was once an incident in which it took away a child that hypnotized. In Ultra Sun, it rarely harms people, but then Gothita, no. My God, I can't remember. It's Gothitel and Gothita. Gotharita. Okay. Oh my God. Almost forgot a Pokemon's name. That would have been embarrassing. This Pokemon will hypnotize children to put them to sleep before carrying them away. Be wary of nights when the starlight is bright. And then of course we know Drifloon. Ah, so uh, Hypno, it was just it was just one bad apple. <laughs> but you gotta admit, of the three, it is the creepiest looking. Accidentally indulged in too much me time, turns out I've been reported missing for over six months and presumed dead by most local and national authorities. Oh, red? <laughs> him, on the, him on the peak of Mount Silver, just like, I'm just having some me time. <laughs> the four horsemen of why aren't you? Okay, all right, this this format is, uh, is taking over. I recently discussed a video about Pokemon that could have been fairy type as part of unused type combos. You should watch that video. I think it's a very good one. And I didn't mention in it how Meloetta is associated with sound and sound is mostly associated with the normal type. However, I agree uh, that Celebi, literally a fairy, but they weren't gonna change any psychic types to fairy. I think they definitely could have, but the only Pokemon, like all previous gen Pokemon who gained the fairy type in gen six, either had it added to one of their existing types or they had their normal type changed to fairy. So while Bellossom, I agree, like 
definitely a good fit for just having fairy added onto it. Blissey, I feel like could have been converted to just pure fairy or fairy normal. I do worry it would be too good. It was a fairy type though. But then Celebi, yes, it's a psychic type. You would have had to change the psychic type to fairy because you're not ditching the grass type. The thing is green. And I think they could have done that. Like Victini, another one where they could have changed the psychic type to fairy, but they didn't, which is kind of a bummer because I think it would have made things a little more interesting. Me, Cynthia is my favorite champion because she only uses gen four Pokemon. Cynthia's Pokemon. There is one imposter among us. Oh yeah. <laughs> Does she always have Milotic? I feel like maybe Gastrodon got swapped for Milotic in one of the games, or did it get swapped for Togekiss? I'm having trouble remembering. Hoenn starters in their shiny forms. Oh, just Piplup. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, I made a video about this a while ago, uh, but I made a book of Pokemon that I came up with when I was a kid. And this fire starter I came up with was a complete ripoff of the Torchic line, but they were penguins. I made fire type penguins because my dad was like, that'd be interesting if you had an aquatic animal that was a fire type. And I'm like, okay. So I made a penguin starter before Piplup. Uh, still definitely a ripoff of Torchic though. Like even the final evolution was fire fighting type. And instead of the like gray striped pattern that Blaziken has on its arms, it just had it on its legs. <laughs> hey, it seems like we are all rather well liked. Yeah, it sure feels nice being popular. Don't jinx it. <laughs> If a Pokemon flies too close to the sun, it will melt its wax wings. Charizard became Icarus. Evolution in Gen 1, level up, use a stone or trade. Evolution today, you have to have your Pokemon do 20 jumping jacks on the top of Mount Everest on a Tuesday night with one HP. Uh, yeah, fully agreed on all of this. When I decided I wanted to redo uh, the most annoying Pokemon to evolve video that I made in 2019, I was like, I got mountains of content. Cause I was, I watched the old version. And I was like, oh, some of these are not that annoying at least compared to the evolution methods that they added in Legends Arceus and Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. These are outrageous. <laughs> in short, uh, it was a well-deserved and good update. <laughs> it's time for you to look inward and begin asking yourself the real questions. How many lions are needed to defeat each Pokemon individually? Oh, they made a tier list. There's just flair with all the unknowns. The lions are far more than extinct, 1 billion to infinity, I see. Yeah, okay. The answer to the original question, 10 million to a billion. That's a huge range. Just need to point out, do you know the difference between 10 million and a billion? About a billion. Oh my God, they did the whole thing. Okay, well, I'm obviously not going through this, but wow. I wanna see what Pokemon they said would lose to a lion. Already dead to begin with. Wait, I don't know if I agree with all these. <laughs> The prehistoric Pokemon are brought back to life. Okay, let's just go to the tier above it. No fight or interaction. Cast form would kill at least one lion. Or are you just saying they won't ever run into each other? Lions cannot fight back. Okay. Mauled. Oh, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> I don't even know if I fully agree with the Pokemon here though. Like, I mean, there are some that I agree. Like Rattata would just get swallowed. But like Cyndaquil could breathe fire. I feel like that could stop at least one lion. Pokemon fact, health and safety. If you make your pets fight in real life, you'll be arrested. Yeah, we should be focusing on the real OTP here. I like that you made a, uh, a meme format out of my recent thumbnail, which may or may not stay the thumbnail. I'm doing an AB test currently. Shipping Mikey with Drowsy? No. Shipping Mikey with that house plant from the Pokemon type stereotypes video? <laughs> I do actually kiss that one. Whitney and Miltank, me who easily beat her using a matchup I got for trading in Drowsy, Mikey. Okay, she gets a lot easier when you get the in-game trade matchup. But if you don't have it, you're just going through. Not knowing what to expect, she'll stomp your little booty cheeks. Unspoken Riz harassment. <laughs> Charizard and other Pokemon got significant model upgrades in Scarlet and Violet. Uh, another one that comes to mind is Typhlosion. Huge upgrade. It had one of the worst 3D models and now it actually looks sick. Tropius got one too. Tropius stopped like constantly hovering and looking stupid, but now it like walks around and it like looks better. Ooh, appropriate fixes, drawing more whoopers all the way up to, all the way up? to Carnivine. You've made a whooper cast form? <laughs> the whooper Trico just looks like Trico without arms. <laughs> whooper Sceptile, cute. Oh, I like Silcoon and Cascoon. Whooper cast form! Look at it! It's a cast form, but instead of suggestive orbs, it has a body. Honestly, like that should have just been cast form from the start. Then people might like it as much as me. Ooh, Lunatone's creepy, I like it. Oh look, Glalie's finally cute. This is so fun. I look forward to seeing future updates to this project. 
When you realize most of the current spin-off games have voice acting, but the main series doesn't. I do agree, it is a bit odd that they still haven't gone for that, but Scarlet and Violet barely function as is. So like, I would rather have the games not be broken than have voice acting. A cat guides a lost hiker down a mountain in Switzerland. The reason it guides people all the way down to the mountain base is that it wants them to hurry up and leave. <laughs> The last thing you ate is what you have to name him. Okay, them imagining eating Magikarp was a, like a, that's not what Magikarp would actually be like. They like say immediately that it's just skin and bone. Some seven year old, a normal Pokemon themed birthday party. Me about to quiz them on everything I see. <laughs> How did they perform? Who remembers Gravity Falls? I remember it, I've actually seen it in its entirety. This community, why are we here again? To dispose of things we don't want. Drowsy, yay. We're getting close to a year since this stupid meme started, all right? Memes aren't supposed to live this long. The choices in Terra Raids are questionable to say the least. People who bring Pokemon super effective against the Terra type and weak to the original types. People who bring super effective against the Terra type and resist the original types, yeah. People who bring useless shiny Pokemon just to flex them. Yeah, uh, I, I don't love partnering with strangers in the Terra Raids. I haven't done any in a while, but like, it's actually sometimes more advantageous just to just to try to solo it. Like even the, the really difficult seven star ones, because if the NPCs faint, they don't take any chunks out of the timer bar. Whereas if real people who don't know what they're doing faint, that you're going to lose. How many people work at Game Freak? 169? Oh, and they had to split to make two games in the same year? Yeah, I feel like they need more people. That's not that many people. If it's not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. The scientist that just found an asteroid with a 2% chance of hitting the earth. <gasps> there is one imposter among us. Oh, this is a deep cut. I'll explain really quick. So if you didn't know, Pokemon have official shapes, which is a little weird. So if we come here to Palace Sands Bulbapedia page and scroll down, we'll see that its official shape is serpentine. Does this look like a snake to you? And yet, that's what it is, apparently. Golden Go, Silver Dango. They, they have Mercury Dango as well. However, well, actually, I was gonna say the Den is part of Golden, so it's not like, you don't say Silver Den, you say Silvery, so it should be Silvery Go. But then I remembered the Dango is also, it also comes from some other word, like Wending, Wendango? Maybe when my mom says Pokemon is for kids, how could a member of my own family say something so horrible? <laughs> Are you going to sleep? Yes, I am. Now shut up. A female Azeril has a 33% chance of becoming male when it evolves into Meryl. I did know this fact. It had to do, uh, it, not anymore. It was like back in gen three, maybe gen four, but I think it was just gen three. So Azeril and Meryl have different gender ratios and they made an error in the coding. So like, because Azrael is a higher percentage chance to be female. Um, I think, so 33%, you know what, let me look at the numbers. Yeah, so Azrael is 75% female, whereas Meryl is 50-50. So I believe that 25% overlap, if a, if a Azrael fell into that zone, it would then become male upon evolving. The chance is 33% because you're already assuming the Azrael is female and one third of all Azurils will fall into that overlap zone and thus turn male upon evolving. Oh, prior to generation six? It took them till gen six to fix it? Because Azurils gender ratio does not match that of its evolved forms. Yep, yep, I explained that. One out of every three female Azuril evolves into a male Azuril, or excuse me, one out of every three female Azuril evolves into a male Meryl, depending on its personality value. From gen six onward, it retains its gender upon evolving. That's wild, I thought they fixed that earlier. There are two kinds of professors, school teachers and supermodels. I mean, why not both? Being predators to Pokemon that would absolutely beat them in a fight, Sableye and Tingaton, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Carbink would beat Sableye? Oh yeah, cause it's a fairy type. I think my Pokemon apps are trying to tell me something. Pokemon Go, Pokemon Home, Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> uh, introverted, six, three, four, nine. <sighs> How dare you? I don't know why I did this. <laughs> it's just the right quiz, a snake. One ticket for Barbie, please. One ticket for Oppenheimer, please. <laughs> Grunty Boy would definitely go see Barbie first. Mikey the Team Sky Leader, I'm less sure. I will say Dr. Fuse is definitely Oppenheimer. Speaking of Dr. Fuse, at some point in August, he will return. Make sure you subscribe to MNJTV Plays to see it. The channel is really close to a million, less than 100,000 away. And also, of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Why do we have hands? There are many reasons. Pat the how, hold the how, cherish the how, 
forfeit all mortal possessions to Hal. This person really likes Hal. That was a bad rival. He has the least personality of the previous game rivals, and most people don't even consider him the real rival. Plus, he's literally just another copy of character. Me. Shut the F up. <laughs> Me when anyone talks ish about Hal. Was Sun and Moon your first game? Barbie and Oppenheimer, nice. <laughs> and now it's time for the slideshow. Handpicked by my lovely editor, Katie. Let's dive in. Watching meme review for the memes, watching meme review for the slideshow. The, the slideshow has a lot of memes, but anyways. The ultimate battle theme, MNJTV versus PM7. <gasps> the John Michael Cup theme? I like how this is an epic theme for battles where we're just catching Pokemon alphabets. <laughs> Cause we never actually battle each other unless it's metronome cause he would crush me every time. I'm sending this to John. Maybe we'll use it in a video at some point. That's really cool. Dragon dance. Oh, a visitor to the dragon's den? Ah, I see. You two wish to learn the art of dragon dance. All right then. Why is Cynthia in the dragon's den? Step one, get into position. Step two, grab your dragon. What is about to happen? Step three, dance. <laughs> okay, this is very cute. <laughs> oh, look at the bouncing Altaria. Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at him doing that! Garchomp, yeah, buddy! Oh, Garchomp can't learn Dragon Dance. Darkness. That was fun. You guys still accepting recruits? Lowered brightness recommended for the second image. Well, let's look at the first one. Armored Dragon Duo. Echo and Rook. Ooh. Very cool, Team Sky. Second image, Pilot. The Charge Quake Duo. Ooh, that's very cool. I remember Mike saying he loves Lantern and hated his Macargo Fast. Okay, Fast was my Macargo in my old challenge where I got through Heart Gold without catching any Pokemon. I didn't hate it, it just kind of sucked. So I wanted to post the cross-gen evolutions of Lantern and Macargo I made. Ah, Lantern, fantastic. I really want Lantern to actually be good. I love this idea for an evolution for it. And that is a gnarly Macargo. That is so cool. Ghost Rock, I love it. I love them both. Put them in the game now. Two Team Sky recruits. <gasps> Spear. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. An eco-friendly pilot. Ah, oh, fantastic. And her future husband. <laughs> Flying bad poke scientist, Orion. <laughs> Our great leader is indeed invited to the wedding. Ah, oh, fantastic, I will be there. I drew some of Mikey's favorite Pokemon in my style with creative liberties. Ooh, a redesigned Sceptile. That looks really cool. Got such long legs and long blades. Ooh, Gliscor is Spooky, oh my gosh. <laughs> Cast the form. Oh, and Rayquaza with me, a little me saying go and tame Sky. That is a mean looking Rayquaza, I dig it. History of the R slash place Charizard. Well, it was nothing and then it was something and now it's gone. Okay, so Katie says, not on meme review, but I saw it and thought it was wild. Oh, it's an Instagram reel. He completes his back with Pokemon, whoa. Whoa! Wild is accurate. That's that's pretty cool. I would never do that to myself, but that looks really cool. Team Sky application, the name's Ash. Aw, look at that. You're accepted and your outfit is stylish and cool. Nobody, Mikey to Igglypuff. I've never met this man in my life. <laughs> Tyler's drawing had ears. It's a metaphor for capitalism. <laughs> I said that in the video and I, I feel like I, I, I completely forgotten what I was referencing. I like said it and I'm like, I know I've heard that recently and now I remember. Is this a Slitherwing, Katie? <laughs> These past three memes have been from the Guess the Pokemon from its drawing video on MJTV Plays. Uh, if you haven't watched that yet, you definitely should. It's a very funny video with some very bad drawings. I'm very much concerned about the next episode of the JMC. This is the only hint you guys are going to get for the video I'm currently editing. Everyone following me on Twitter or X? Indeed. We have some very exciting stuff that will be coming out soon. If it's 
not already out as of this video going up. I don't expect it to be, but maybe it is. We'll see. Reggie Gigas playing with his children. <laughs> Why is Reggie Gigas the only one that's a person? <laughs> well, cast form I made from clay. It's kind of well endowed, but uh, cute. I drew Mighty and made a cotton candy version. It's so cute. By the way, I'm gonna promote it. Uh, it's not live yet, but the cave form of Mighty Plushie will be live at mnjtvmerch.com sometime this month. As of posting, the tentative date is August 18th. Something could come up, but if you want the next Mighty form, keep an eye out. <laughs> uh, indeed, I expect to only see my version of this meme on the subreddit in the future. I have conquered it. And here's where I'd put a Katie original. If I had one. Oh, just talking about the paintings. <laughs> well, there might be a way for you to get them. I cannot provide more details quite yet, but patience is a virtue. DJ Mighty in the house. Oh, that's so cute. He's just Ken. Oh, cause it's a male combi that can't evolve. Okay. <laughs> PM7 be like, I used the bread to get the bread. <laughs> I drew my Pokemon Black 2 team. Ooh, Axorus, Electros, Superior, Crocodile, Swana. What, what is on fire? Oh, that's Volcarona. I was confused for a second. I thought it was Giratina. I was like, how did you do that? Does the Haxorus have blood on his mouth? Oh no. I have no clue why I keep putting effort into these things. Pokemon Talk, Indie Game of the Year. <laughs> oh, Pokemon Talk, how nostalgic. Oh, spooky. Note to viewers, if I put enough Barbie memes in here, Mikey will be forced to go see it. I've purchased my tickets. By the time you are seeing this video, I have seen the movie. As of recording it, I am seeing it in two days. I already saw Oppenheimer. It was very good. It was very long. Drew Mickey and I's favorite Pokemon. Glad we have the same favorite Pokemon. Very cool drawing. Not a fan of that spelling of my name. I mean, Ghost is a pretty easy type to add to Pokemon. You just kill the Pokemon. <laughs> Ooh, started this a few months ago, finished tonight. Look at that. That's the that's the Emerald team. The first Team Sky team. Fantastic. Attempt two of showing off some fan art. Ooh, more Team Sky. I love the Team Sky fan art. You guys have such fun interpretations of outfits. If I was a Team Sky admin, pixel art, excellent. Ooh. A redraw of a piece. Look at that. All of the various me's. And by that, I mean completely different people. Well, not all of them. I'm not there. There's Team Sky, Team Night Sky, Grunty Boy wearing a stylish scarf, and Dr. Fuse, and some cast forms. I, 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 I'm, I'm starting to notice I am getting left out of a lot of these. You know, I'm doing less playthroughs than these characters are. You know, I'm just, I'm trying not to be offended. Ooh, this is my Team Sky OC September. <sighs> Do you remember? She doesn't like to battle much, but has experience in veterinary nursing and is working on her degree before joining Team Sky. She was also born with anosmia, complete lack of smell. Ooh, unfortunate. What a very cool character, I love that. Oh, well, there are explanations for team members. Aromatisse is never used in battle and it could fly before evolving. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Clefable, also never used in battle. It has wings, come from outer space, plus it's a good partner Pokemon for a vet nurse. Fair enough. Altaria, September doesn't battle often, but when she does, Altaria is her ace. Archeops is a cute, clumsy guy. Archeops is a cute, clumsy guy. And then shiny jump fluff and Swoobat, cute, fluffy round, must I go on? No, no need. I understand you fully. Welcome to Team Sky. There's no flying specialist in Galar, and since Mikey pointed out gym leaders are celebrities, here's my admin application to start a Team Sky fan base in Galar. I love the idea of, of someone, <laughs> some like, Galar person being obsessed with Team Sky and being like, I'm gonna be the the flying type gym leader. But we have to rebrand the outfit to green. And everybody's like, why? For Team Sky, who is that? <laughs> Me! I'm actually there, a long time Team Sky and Grunty Boy. We're all so cute, fantastic. Drew this in my room because I was born one and trying to make it into a meme review video. Is that a, it's go Team Sky, it's drowsy with a jetpack. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon Meme Review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, Pokemon fans, gotta catch them all.